I want you to note here in a very particular way that in the 12th chapter, and we'll see in the succeeding chapter, that there are no miracles. And we have stated before that Mark is the gospel of action with the emphasis on miracles. Now, according to this premise, it would seem that the action now is slowing down to a standstill. But this is actually the lull before the storm. I'm not sure, but what we've got a lot of action in chapter 12 and 13 that's coming up. And let me give you the outline that we have here. And we have really used some unusual alliteration here. The letter Q is very seldom used. But listen, Jesus quickens the battle with the religious rulers with the parable of the vineyard. And that's the first 12 verses. Verse 13 through 17, Jesus queers the plot of the Pharisees and Herodians about paying taxes to Caesar. And then Jesus quells the skepticism of the Sadducees concerning the resurrection. That's verses 18 through 27. And then Jesus quites the mind of the scribe about the greatest commandment. And then Jesus questions the Pharisees about the Messiah and quotes Psalm 110. That's verses 35 through 40. And then finally, Jesus qualifies scriptural giving by evaluating the two mites of the widow. And that's verses 41 through 44. Now we are coming, you can see, to a great deal of action that's taking place here. And the Lord Jesus now is the Passover lamb, and he's put up here for close inspection before he's slaughtered. Because you remember that the Passover lamb was put up to be inspected. And all the waves now of man's wrath will roll over his head. And this is not a period of quietening in action. We are seeing here the fiercest encounter with these religious rulers. And both sides bring up their heavy artillery. And they make every arrangement in preparation for the battle of heaven and hell, light and darkness and God and Satan. This could hardly be called a period, I think, of inaction or cessation of hostilities. The three years of periodic skirmishes of Jesus with the religious rulers breaks out in a bitter verbal encounter, and he takes the initiative. He wins the victory in the verbal area, and they cease to try to trap him here. They had hoped to force him to say something that would turn the people against him. All these questions were loaded And he precipitated this action by giving the most pointed, plain, and direct parable of his ministry. And that's the one that opens this chapter. The parable of the vineyard and the meaning is obvious.